describe the moment you first learned you were nominated for an IMA? Who did you tell first? So I was teaching uh, at Berkeley College of Music uh, online the past week, and so I've been on my computer nonstop, and uh, I must have made some sound because my, my girlfriend was in the other room. She was like, what? What happened? You know, so I think I, I, I said that. Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> Um, yeah, so she was excited. What does this nomination mean to you as an artist and for your career? I, this is, it, it's a great honor to be nominated for this. You know, uh, checking out right away who the judges were, seeing Tom Waits and, and Beth Gibbons. I mean, these are some of <laughs> Growing up, these were, you know, people I looked up to uh, extremely high. So just the, the idea that, that, that uh, that our, our music is even being listened to by people like this is a great honor. Uh, describe his work in five words. Um, forever.
How does being an independent artist influence your work? Creatively, is it more liberating or challenging? This is a funny question. It's definitely challenging. Uh, the first time I read this question, I started laughing out loud, very loud. It, it's just getting on the road for a couple of weeks. Getting across the country is, you know, it's like a, you end up sending hundreds of emails. No one knows who you are, and, and, and that's okay. It's something we've always just accepted, but uh, it's definitely challenging. In your opinion, what is the most underrated album or song of all time? Uh, this is easy too. This is um, uh, Hissing Fauna Are You the Destroyer by uh, Montreal. Uh, and I only say this because anytime I, I talk to someone, I say, Oh, do you know Hissing Fauna Are You the Destroyer? They say, What's that? You know. So, it's a good one. Thank you that letter.